Scratch friends, I am Mike Hartman or HL Mod Tech, and today I'm here to help you build a cool game in Scratch. We're going to control a little spaceship using a sprite and the arrow keys. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get cracking. Make sure you visited the Scratch site and signed in. Then we're going to click Create. And from the Create screen, the first thing we always want to do is we want to name it. I'm going to name mine Zoom V3 because this is version 3 and I'm using Scratch 3.0. I don't want to use the cat, so I'm going to hit the X to delete it. Look down in this right corner for our new sprite. I do want to use a spaceship, so we're going to click choose a sprite. And we're going to type ship right here. And I'd like you all to use a spaceship as well. Later, once you've got this cool thing figured out, you can create your own cool projects. When you build with Scratch, the first thing you want to do is have an event, and we have a when the flag clicked, then things start. We are going to use the cool broadcast message trick to actually control our game and switch levels and so on. So start by broadcasting a new message, and we're going to call this one start. When we click start, we want several things to happen. The first of which is we want our spaceship to say, oh, when I receive the message start, then I have to start doing things. We want him to be able to move using the arrow keys, and we're going to do that with a really nifty trick where we drop in a forever loop, so it's always going to be checking, and then we're going to use an if then. And under sensing, we're going to say if the arrow key is pressed, and we're first going to do the right arrow, then we want it to move. And we want it to move on the X, because that would be to the right. So we bring out change X. Be careful not to hit set, because that is a common mistake. And we want to change X by five. If you hit your flag and now tap your arrow key, you can see that your spaceship moves, which is really cool. Notice it won't go to the left, and that's because we need to make the other one. We can make the other arrow key by right clicking on that word if and using duplicate. Let's set it down below and this time we want to change X to negative 5. And then we want to do the left arrow. So now when we press left arrow it'll go negative 5 and then we want to put that under. Notice the forever wraps around both of them so you've got forever if if. If you test your arrow keys now it goes in both directions. That's called X. Let's build the Y command as well. Real easily, we can right click on this little if and duplicate it and bring it below. We're going to change it to the up arrow and we're going to pull out this change X and right click delete it. We want to find the change Y because that is how high it goes making sure you don't grab the set Y because that breaks it and we want it to go up five so we've done up and we've done five and then we drop it underneath you can test it real quick by hitting your up now we all now all we need to do is the down so we're gonna duplicate this and put it down below and add a down command and change Y by negative five Keep an eye on your neighbors as they're working. If theirs don't go the right direction, they probably missed the X and the Y change. Also, keep an eye on the set Y and set X. That is a common mistake as well. At this point, my ship drives in every direction, but notice it takes up the whole world. We're going to change that by putting a new when I receive command, and we're going to go to looks, and we're going to set it to a smaller size. So we're going to set size and put that in between, and let's go down to 30% so our ship is nice and small. When we broadcast the start again, now we've got a nice, nifty, small ship. The only thing is our ship always looks in the same direction, even when it's going to the right. Let me show you how easy it is to fix that. Click on our costumes choice, and we're going to play with Rocket Ship A and we need to duplicate it. So all you do is right click on it and choose duplicate. 
We want this one to aim to the right, so we just click and choose the rotation and aim it to the right. Notice we missed a little bit of it, so I'm going to undo that with the undo command, and this time I'm going to grab everything. So I selected all of it, and then rotate it using the little handle. I'm going to click up on its name, making sure I'm on rocket ship A2. I'm going to put a dash and a RT after it, so I know that is my right rocket ship. I'm going to duplicate that, grab it all again, and I'm going to rotate and do the same thing to make a left rocket ship. Once again, I go up here, and instead of RT2, I'm going to change it to left, and then I'm going to duplicate that again, and hopefully by now you've figured out I'm going to grab it all. And I'm going to make a spaceship that is aiming down by just rotating so it is aimed in that direction. And then change it to DN for down. If we move back to our code, now we can put some amazing switch costumes in so that when we press the right arrow, it aims to the right. When we press the left arrow, I'm going to bring out another switch costume. It's going to aim to the left. When I press my up arrow, it is going to still have rocket ship A. And then when I change the down arrow, then it's going to switch to rocket ship down. I can click start, and now when I drive, my cool spaceship has all the different views. Make sure you click save now because you don't want to lose your cool tutorial. At this point, you can pat yourself on the back for completing the first part of our awesome game. Once again, make sure you click save. And friends, if you found this movie useful, please hammer that like button. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. If you got a question or a comment, please leave it down below and click that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.